welcome back to my channel in another video if today is your first time here i am nana Bema, but my stage name is versatile nana we are here to talk about one part of the body that we shy away from talking about publicly even between two people we cannot call it by its real name so in this video i'm going to be proverbia yeah i'm going to speak to you in proverbs and i know that because you are a grown up you go back and also because you are an african and we are noted for speaking in parables you are going to unravel the puzzle in this lesson today i want to step out of my comfort zone to bring to you lessons about the cocoa farm most adults refer to it the cocoa farm is a cocoa farm probably because it's the most richest part of our body as women because it receives and gives back life what can we exchange for life legally no amount of money can buy life with that said take your seat and let's dive into the lesson In order for farmers to have good harvest, one key element they don't or cannot do away with is weeding. Yeah, weeding. And in the same vein, we cannot go without the use of a shaving stick. So scissors goes for those who want it downcast those who want it derby and if you want it sakura too you have to go with the the shaving stick shaving stick to 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 clear every weed on that special cocoa farm okay so why is it important for you to to weed your cocoa farm or to shave on a regular basis i don't want to give any time stamp on when to shave no i am not here for that but i want to share with you why you have to to shave on a regular basis the first point is have you been to a bushy environment before imagine your king wants to harvest in your cocoa farm and then he now have to take time to part the way the only one if you so are stubborn some of the hairs are stubborn some have 4c 11c 50c hair <laughs> You are in the mood if care is not taken by the time he he finds himself at the entrance the appetite or the zeal would have been lost so you need to keep the place in order you keep it in shape so that as soon as the referee pistols and then they do all the acrobatics uh -huh, all the warm-up and everything uh, the gates will be open. The king will know which way to enter and will not be knocking at unnecessary things. Do you get me? You understand. Okay, so the second reason is that when you read or when you shave continuously, you are going to do away with pests as a farmer. Uh -huh. So the pest here is lies, yes? Then if you if you leave it unattended to there's a possibility that lies will be grooming the akati gokacham akati is a disease that affects crops no matter how you feed your crop or your farmland your crops will not bloom they will not flourish they will come in a, in little bags they will not grow because something is eating all the juice all the nutrients all the good things from the farm the other reason is that a lot of things goes on there imagine having a bushy little nana you menstruate through the little nana we also weary through the little nana so if it had been here or here yeah there would have been a lot of 
air blowing on it here and there but because it is hidden because where it is even when you are working anti pay you are not in any other way it still cannot breathe as it ought to or as it would have been breathing had it been here or here so that is why we have to shave so that even when you are wearing a panty when you are wearing an underwear uh -huh. let me say this when we are home let's reduce the number of things we wear let's reduce it so that the place can breathe uh -huh. when you are home you don't have to wear a a a a a an under nika that's how we call it a nika let's say i as i am home now i'm wearing a panty then i'll wear that black nika before this dress let's we are suffocating it let's I'll give it a breathing space yeah let's give little nana a breathing space and that and leads us to the second must have as a woman the second thing that you need to have to carry about with you to work with you to have in your office in your home is none other than wives do not say they are for babies do not say that it is called baby wives because they are meant for only babies hmm. until i discovered this that was my thought i was also of the uh, belief that wives are only for babies whereas toilet roll is for adults i have one in my washroom home one at the office and when i am stepping out i put some in zip lots and drop them in my bag so that anytime i use the washroom front or back i would clean with that don't tell me you clean with tissue paper or a toilet roll guys let's experiment here drop a urine on the floor surface and clean with anything dry go and smell that spot after a minute or two the place will smell foul and that's what happened to little nana when you clean after we win when you clean with a um, anything dry because it is damp when you use it it wipes off all the 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 smell from it it's a uh, zero percent alcohol content so that means that there are other versions uh -huh. so always go in for the alcohol free content you see our muslim brothers and sisters anytime they use the washroom they use water to clean their cocoa farm and the other opening but it is not so with most of us christians and that is why this thing comes in handy trust me most of the health issues we have regarding our little nannies or our cocoa farm is as a result of the bad practice that we carry on there use this and you come to testify when you do this religiously ha huh? anytime you are caught to that special state <laughs> announced or unannounced you can walk with your full chest majestically uh -huh. you will take your steps boldly you will take your steps with vim to lay on that special table your sweet fragrant cocoa farm that succulent that sweet smelling cocoa farm or little nana on that special table for him on this note i want to say thank you for watching from the beginning up to this time i leave you the peace and the message of the most high peace say shalom and whenever you say a prayer do not forget to say one for me and my household guys i will see you again in my next video bye, -bye. bye.